Today, we have a video on a camel slash XP glitch. There are gonna be two XP glitches and a camel glitch. So as you can see, I have this gold on my gun, but it's not unlocked. Also, I'll just show you guys two insanely OP XP glitches if you do need to still rank up your weapons and get them to max rank for the camels. So the first thing I'm gonna get into is gonna be the XP glitches. Then I'm gonna get into the camel glitches. You wanna take yourself over to the battle map, search and destroy. Before before you load up into the game, make sure you put on these two field upgrades. So the first one is going to be that smoke drone where you can drop smoke. Then you want to put on the recon drone as a second field upgrade. You then want to head over to your perks, then put on this perk right here, which will make it so you can activate both of those field upgrades at once. And that is what's going to glitch this out. Now you want to put on whatever weapon you want to rank up. Also put on double XP. You want to play through the game until you unlock that last perk. You you will see that you're gonna have two bars around your field upgrade and that's how you know you have that last perk unlocked now you want to find a safe corner you want to use that smoke drone field upgrade then you will see on your bottom right you will still have a field upgrade even though you just used it and you're gonna get 80 xp every single time you use that field upgrade and it'll be double if you have double xp on so spam it you can infinitely spam it and what's even better if you change your kill streaks to score streaks you will see See that the score that you get from this glitch is gonna actually go towards your score streaks so you can put on the most overpowered thing you will be getting unlimited XP and unlimited score streaks which the score streaks turn into more XP and this XP is gonna be for weapons rank and for battle pass now this next XP glitch I'm gonna get into like I said stay tuned after this we're gonna be getting into the camel glitch but this next one is gonna be in Warzone. this is just in case if you don't have multiplayer head into Warzone and you want to find stims you then want to take damage by either fall damage as you can see here's a perfect example i'm going to take fall damage then you want to activate the stim and you will see you're going to get 500 xp super easy just like that and with double xp it's 1000 and what you can do is find an ammo cache area then use your stims and then just simply refill your stims through the ammo cache keep on doing that over and over and over there's a little cooldown on refilling your stims but it isn't too long so you guys can keep on rinsing and this get unlimited stims drop down from the roof and keep on giving yourself XP. Now, if you head over to the storm, go into the storm, back out of the storm, and then use your stim, you're gonna get even more XP. You're gonna be getting 500, 600, and if you're further into the game, you can get up to 1,000 XP, and that's without double XP. With double XP, you're gonna be getting 2,000. Now, this stim glitch is gonna only be for rank XP and battle pass XP, not weapon. If you want weapon XP, use the first XP glitch I showed you. But those are two XP glitches, and now let's move on to the camo one. This camo glitch worked in season three, and it still works in season four. All you need is you need one gun without the camo. As you can see, this gun has absolutely no camo since I don't ever use this. Then you want to have another weapon with the camo because we're going to be duping this camo onto this gun that doesn't have the camo. So if you have a Ryan unlocked, but you don't have a Ryan on your DLC weapons, this is perfect. You can use this glitch to dupe a Ryan camo onto the DLC weapons. Same thing if you have gold. If you have gold for one weapon, you can get gold on any weapon. Same with poly, all that stuff. So hopefully you guys understand this glitch. Now, best thing to use is definitely a keyboard, and if you don't have a keyboard, stay tuned because I'm gonna explain how to do it without one. Now, take your keyboard, plug it right into your console, then you wanna go to the weapon that does not have the camo on. Now, you need to make sure that you're in Warzone or you're in regular multiplayer. Then, you wanna pull up the Save Custom Mod menu. Now, sadly, this does only work on PlayStation, nothing else, but just press that PlayStation Home button once. Don't hold it, press it. Then, you wanna press it again to go back into the game. Now, a split second later press the escape button then you will see that keyboard options are going to pop up on the bottom right here you want to simply rinse and repeat this again you want to press the playstation home button once press it again then a split second later press that escape button on your keyboard that is going to back you out of this menu and now how this glitch works is by basically pressing the playstation home button twice you will see that custom mod menu gets pushed off your screen in between the time of the custom mod menu not being on your screen and being on your screen you will 
will see that you're going to have that split second to press a button on your keyboard to control the background of your game. And you're going to be using the keyboard to go around the menus to do this next step. So hopefully everything makes sense. At this point, what you want to do is you're going to be pressing the PlayStation Home button twice. Then you're going to be pressing the down arrow on your keyboard a split second after. Then PlayStation Home button twice, split second after, press the space bar to go into the weapon. You are now going to change the weapon to a gun that has the camo. So just go through the menu right here and find that weapon. As you can see, my weapon is in this same category that I'm in, and I'm going to be using the arrow key, the left and right arrow key, to move left and right. If the gun that has the camo is on a different category, you're going to be pressing E and Q to move categories. So here we go. We press the PlayStation Home button twice, then a split second later, we're using the arrow key to move over to the gun with the camo. Once we're at the gun with the camo, we're going to be pressing the PlayStation Home button twice again. Then you want to press the space bar to select the gun. Then you will be on this screen. Again, press the PlayStation Home button twice. Then a split second later, you want to press the space bar to select the gun. Again, press the PlayStation Home button twice. Then a split second later, press the up arrow on your keyboard to go to the gunsmith. Now press the PlayStation Home button twice. Then split second later, press the space bar to go into the gunsmith. Now the next thing we're going to be trying to get to is the camo selection. So in order to do that, you press the PlayStation Home button twice. Then press the E button on your keyboard a second later. And again, press the PlayStation Home button twice. Then press the space bar a second later. This is going to select the camo screen. Now, what you need to do next for the final step, you're done with the menus. You need to simply save the gun as a custom mod. Make sure you put a name in it. And now you're going to see that gun that did not have that camo that you wanted has that camo. So this gun now has the gold camo when it actually doesn't. And we did it to where we can dupe camos over and unlock the camo for this weapon. Super OP. Now, once we select the camo, you want to back out and then save it as a custom mod. We're going to go back into it. And as you can see, the camo is locked, but I haven't unlocked with this glitch. I can use this camo. I can change the actual attachments and I can save it as a custom mod to keep it forever. And I can use it nonstop. Now, like I said, this works with a Ryan, Polly, whatever. You just need the camo on one other gun first. Just one other gun though. You don't need it on every single gun because from that one other gun, you can copy it onto all the other guns that you want to have that camo unlocked on the other guns. So there's a camo glitch. Now, if you don't have a keyboard and you want to do this for console, all you need to do is press the PlayStation home button twice. Then just use your controller and then press the button on your controller to back out and do everything we did before that custom mod menu pops up. This is harder to do because you have to be really quick with this, but same concept. It's just you're using your controller, which is harder, but you know, do how you want to do it. It's all up to you. If you have any questions about the XP glitches or camo glitches, definitely ask me down below because I will definitely reply to you. Now I am working on some new glitches for DMZ, but I haven't found anything yet. Stay tuned because that might be coming soon. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.